Hello everybody, today I am making a uh, circle template for the router for installing 7 inch duct for the new kitchen vent hood installation and so I'm using my router table which you can see is homemade from a folding leg melamine top table and a yard sale find. I've had a couple of these over the years, maybe more than that, uh, but they really last and you can bolt to them, you can screw to them, sometimes I stick bolts up through here for cutting circles um, in this case the uh, center of the circle comes out over the router plate which I also made this and uh, so I drilled a piece of 2x4 and countersunk it and screwed this to the table and uh, oh, to, sp to set the spacing I made a jig uh, with a quarter inch hole on both sides that slips over the pivot bolt and the router bit so I got my spacing set and like I said, I'm going to cut out of this thin material and uh, test fit it over the duct. I anticipate there being a, an adjustment or two to get a nice fit. But uh, I just wanted to show you how it is I jigged that up and I'll go ahead and uh, set the router up here and turn it on so that you can see the cut and well, let's hope it doesn't screw up since I'm not going to practice first. Okay, eyes, ears, nose, here we goes. Okay, no big excitement there. I'll go see it how it, fit, how it fits and maybe do it a couple more times. But if not, then uh, once I know I got the right size in this thin sheet material, I'm going to cut it out of a piece of pine to be the actual template. And I'm going to poke a hole here in the middle of this uh, piece of melamine board, which is the first piece that has to be uh, penetrated. I, I screwed this up into place and put the vent fan into place and traced the inside of the hole and uh, then took this back down again and I'll use the router compass to cut that one and then all the rest of them I'll use the router template. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so it's uh, one second for you and another day for me. Uh, this is the sheet of melamine that uh, I cut to fit underneath the cabinet uh, that the vent hood is going to attach to. I installed the melamine up under the cabinet. I raised the vent hood up underneath this uh, using a scissors jack and then traced uh, inside of its duct opening hole and now I need to drill a hole in the middle of this circle so that I can use the router compass right here actually this isn't properly a router compass a router compass is where you've got a, a lawn board and you mount the router to it and it's got a pivot point and you and you draw the circle with the router this is kind of in reverse and I'm not sure compass is the right term for it but you can tell me in the comments if you know what it should be called anyhow uh, I've got to drill a hole here in the middle uh, of this uh, circle and I don't know if you can see um, I can't really see with this small viewfinder but there trust me there's a pencil circle drawn here and I need to find the middle of it and uh, you know my background is in old school mechanical drafting mechanical design is what I did it starts with mechanical drafting so I'm just gonna draw two chords to start with just two random chords and then I'm going to strike arcs that are uh, larger. I'm going to go from the tangent point of the chord and the circle to an arc that's larger than half the diameter. 
Also note the two chords can't obviously be parallel to each other and so I'm going to scribe an arc here and here and then I'm going to come over here to the other tangent point and scribe a couple arcs and this seems to be a pretty hard piece of lead that's in here so uh, you may not be seeing it and it's slippery so I try to draw this darker uh, but anyway and I'm going to draw this line and then I'll do that over here at the tangent point of the chord in the circle the compass is open larger than half the length of the chord and scribe arcs and then go to the other side of the chord and scribe an intersecting arc and now draw the line here and I'm just going to draw it right there and now we can check how good that is and if it's off a little bit we can refine it with more arcs but let's just see how good this did and it did perfect so that's all there is to that I'm going to take it over to the drill press, drill that hole I'll meet you back over here in a few minutes okay I'm set up to make this cut the router is turned on I plugged it into a power strip so that I can use uh, the switch on it with my foot I have a real foot switch but I have it kind of permanently installed on the table saw I often do this though with the router use a power strip as an external switch okay eyes, ears, nose, here it goes It's an old, fairly dead router bit, so I didn't want to use my fresh good one on this. I might have to, though. Oh, that's looking perfect. Alright, well, let's just keep going.
wheel anybody? Okay, so I'm going to go uh, test this fit. Uh, yep, going to install this under the cabinet. Going to put this um, the hood up in there, make sure it fits, and then trace this hole onto the bottom sh of the bottom shelf of the cabinet. And based on how happy I am with the uh, perfection of what I get tracing it, I'll cut the template, and I and I might make it a little larger diameter. I'd like it to be the perfect size like this, um, but we'll see. All right, I will check back in with you here in a little bit. Okay, so that hole in the melamine board uh, came out perfect. Uh, installed it, uh, slid the oven vent up in there, and the uh, the duct collar fit perfectly within that hole. So now I'm gonna I traced it out on the bottom of the shelf. Now I'm gonna cut a router template and cut the next hole. I'll use a fresh bit for cutting the cabinets. That was a pretty deep cut though. So actually, I'm not going to be using this bit for uh, or this style of bit for cutting the cabinet holes. I need to use a bit with a ball bearing on it, like that. I'm going to call the hardware store and see if they have a quarter inch. And I'm going to get out of this shop until the smoke dissipates. It's pretty thick. Uh, hopefully, that was the last cut this bit ever has to do. Got a little warm. Nothing smoking. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so the first template, I think I was pushing it way too hard getting through that much material with the dull cutter and uh, the diameter didn't come out quite right. And I went ahead and moved uh, the pivot point just a little bit because um, these holes aren't all that critical anyway. 
I don't want to do this too many times, so I opened it up a little bit. I'm going to cut a template. I found some uh, half-inch uh, plywood that I can use for templates, and I've got enough for two or three, but I'm going to give this one a try next. I'll see if I can do this cut all at once instead of going up and down. That might also minimize uh, the error. Oops. Wasn't quite ready to turn the camera on, I guess. Got to have the nose on. try this one. Okay so uh, I was happy with the second template I cut. I uh, screwed it to the bottom of the cabinet. I used a cheap laminate trimmer router from Harbor Freight. So I've got a couple of these around the shop for different purposes. And I started out with the base unit it came with. I removed the little 90 degree side pieces and used it like this but I ran out of room against the wall back here so I just cut it straight across so it came out like that and then I just handheld it and ran it around the inside of the template in the back to finish cutting it out. Uh, I'm using a quarter inch router bit without a ball bearing on it. Ouch! <laughs> well these cheap, uh, these cheap laminate trimmers have very short duty cycle. <laughs> this is a little warm. Um, the whole thing's a little warm. So um, Anyway, I'm just running it on the shank rather than using a ball bearing. I, I have some router bits with the ball bearings on the other end. They're very expensive with the ball bearing on this end. They were at the hardware store, but I decided for $35 that uh, this would work just fine. And it does. But actually, that's probably why it's so hot. But uh, actually, the motor is warm, but not that hot. So it's not the duty cycle there. It's just how I was cutting it. So uh, now I'm going to stick the templates up on the top side of the cabinet. Uh, but first I have to shove the uh, duct pipe up through there and trace where it's going. And I'll check back in with you. Hello everybody, quick update on the kitchen vent hood installation. The interior work is finished. I uh, trimmed it out up top with a piece of uh, sisal rope with a stretchy spring across the back side of the rope where the where the split is to uh, hold it tight around the vent tube and yep otherwise came out good everything fits still cooking on the Coleman camping stove the electric oven uh, next will be to install a gas pipe a propane gas pipe it'll run down next to the door jam of that uh, door opening there well, it's not even a door it's just an opening to the add-on part of the house. Um, but I'm going to run a gas line uh, from the floor up along that door jam, up into the ceiling, and then outside. Got to pour concrete pad for the tank and, you know, do that whole thing. But uh, that's going to be the next kitchen job. And then be able to get a, a real gas range. Uh, the house was, is plumbed for electric range and it came with a brand new uh, electric range. I don't like cooking on electric one and two. It um, 
it was so large that I had to open the oven door in order to open the silverware drawer next to it. So uh, I got rid of that and all the other brand new appliances the house came with because none of them were what I wanted. One of them was one of those giant microwaves with a uh, grease scrubbing steel mesh pad uh, for a vent hood in it. It was a monster microwave, like one person or, you know, it backs two people need a microwave that big and a completely useless uh, non-vent hood. So uh, sold all the appliances while they were still brand new and had some value. And now finally, nearly two years later, got the got a proper vent hood installed. And now we're sucking the cooking steam and grease right up out to the outdoors. And that's just fantastic. So that's the update on that project. Came out great. And uh, next will be to run that propane line. But uh, where you will see me next here on my channel is back in the shop working on uh, HW95. So uh, I will, or I should say, you will see me soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.